would have joined in the in the Imperial Guard campaign. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with Is a multi Lieutenant Drakir at your service. As well as Gunnery Mate Rom. <laughs> you decided to join us last minute. And welcome to Partisans 1941. A, uh, yeah, the new side quest that we will well we were going to start with yesterday. But yeah, stuff got in the way, stuff didn't actually happen, uh, so yeah, it was <laughs> pretty much a loss for all sides with that. Uh, yeah, so we're doing this instead of Heart uh, Space Ship Breaker. I almost said ship, Heart uh, Ship Space Breaker again. Uh, oh god. <laughs> I'd almost call it an in-joke at this point, but yeah. Uh, basically, we showcased this game a while back. It gave us a bit of trouble, but since then we have moved from the game capture, uh, well, capturing methods to, well, monitor capture, and, which is a lot easier to maintain as long as borderless gaming behaves itself, which for some reason it didn't a bit earlier, so let's hope that doesn't happen too often. Yeah, no, something did break it earlier, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah, game by Daedalic Entertainment, who, well, after the Golem fiasco, decided to, well, never try making games again and just leave the actual developers to it. Wait, that was Daedalic, they, right? They made Golem? Uh, Golem, I mean. Yeah, I think they made Golem. Yeah, and that is why publishers should mostly stick to publishing. <laughs> Anyways. No it's the problem caused by higher ups. They always think they know what's best. They'll try to chase trends, and all of a sudden, an entire game loses its identity, and it all just becomes a blur of the same shit every day. AKA Suicide Squad. Yeah. Uh, and what's worse is that it is the last time the, the most well known voice actor for Batman, Soviet Kevin Conroy, gets to play the character the as he passed away sadly in 2022. Began. Yeah. It, uh, there was a bit of voice. Yep. Yeah. It's just taking a bit. For the first several months, the Soviet forces suffered devastating losses, fighting against a battle hardened and ruthless enemy. The Red Army was forced to retreat. Did you know that Halo? That Halo Force Spartan Ops mode is forward, considered to the ground, a higher fight mode in along the, way. Minsk, the Master Chief Malensk, collection. Novgorod fell. Okay, I'm not too familiar with Halo's side modes. Threat loomed over Moscow and Leningrad. Hang on. Yeah, Stike is acting up. <laughs> Thousands of Soviet soldiers were surrounded, trapped in salience. One of them was a commanding officer of a rifle company, Captain Zorin. During an attempt to break out of the encirclement, he was taken prisoner and shipped to the nearest Dulag. He was supposed to be transferred from the prisoner of war camp to an internment camp. Fully aware that this would be a one-way ticket for him and his comrades, Zorin began work on a breakout. But the Germans discovered his plans. Yeah, this game is basically commandos, but on the other side of the conflicts. And we're not playing as the Russian army, we're playing as Ru well, Russian slash Ukrainian uh, partisans. Captain Zorin, I've been informed. Uh, that you put the prisoners Was up to a riot. It's Groundhog Day. Again. Your war is over. Soon it will be over for the Red Army too. I wouldn't be so sure. We'll be chasing you all the way back to Berlin before long. Okay, I like that the translator goes both ways. Our victory is all but certain. Neither Moscow nor Leningrad can hold out for more than two weeks. You don't stand a chance against the might of Germany. We, Aryans, are born to rule the likes of you. All humans are born equal. But you, Hitler's filth, you are human. 
Was für ein Schwachsinn. Bringt ihn nach draußen zur Exekution. So gut wie er delikt, Herr Kommandant. I'm surprised he doesn't just shoot him on the spot for that. Oh dear. And kill your raid. Halt. Go ahead, you bastard. Shoot. There's 170 million of us. You can't shoot everyone. And the game starts because of a misfire. <laughs> I wish I were with them. Now I'll have to escape on my own. I can't even hold a rifle. My hands are tied. I'll try and sneak along the fence while the guards are looking. If a lot of us almost a yoke, you can't shoot everybody. You, you can't, can't even shoot, shoot him. him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Hill! In sync again? Yep. Uh, the third mouse button to move, right button to cancel. Uh, WASD, Q and E to rotate, which I always appreciate when this can be done. Seeing as I grew up with a game that, <laughs> well, I grew up with a game with this, where you could only well, watch from four different angles. At the time, my God, was... the wonders of technology. Yeah. <laughs> also, wasn't Groundhog Day yesterday? Yeah, but to be fair, it's a Groundhog Day. If you go to the Halo Master Chief Collection throughout the month, you basically gain, you can gain a nameplate for Groundhog Day. Okay. <laughs> Don't think I've ever actually seen the movie. Which I know, blasphemy. <laughs> well, right, okay. there's a movie. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've been seen it either. Move your curse to an enemy and press right mouse button to see it. Keep out of the cone and don't be caught. Yep, basic real time tactics. Yeah, real, yeah, basic real time tactics stuff. Okay. And when he looks away, Wait. we move. I, don't know, I, have, I mean, I haven't seen parts of Groundhog Day. Uh, day. F5 and F9 for quick look and save and load. Can be changed in the settings. <clears throat> okay. People being. George, we won. Yep. yep. <laughs> okay. I... That was dumb. And yeah, that's Maybe how quickly uh, things can go wrong in a real-time tactics game. This should put fast. us too far apart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, safe scumming is basically the method of surviving in a game like this. Also, okay, don't, forget, we, also don't forget uh, from the from three days ago to the 15th, there is the Year of the Dragon event on... DRG. Yep. Full aware. I watched a ton of it with the uh, three other pr friends. <laughs> that reminds me, Durban Lord still needs to uh, still needs to send me a picture for their avatar. They already have. Is it this uh, stream talk? Uh, oh, okay. I'll have to double. Uh, I'll have to double check. I have been I've been tinkering on one for Glacier Boy by basically turning a <laughs> turning a goat blue. Yeah, Durban Lord. Send you a picture of what I think is supposed to be an orc. Hmm. I think that's correct. Double click the screen. first. <laughs> Meanwhile, Glacier Boy is both our cargo hauler and emergency food supplies. Yep. Oi! <laughs> no eating, my boys. Okay, can use certain objects in your environment to hide from enemies. Use the cellar by clicking lights with the left mouse button to escape the patrolling ga enemy's gaze. Click the right mouse button to exit. To highlight, press Alt. Always really useful when you can well, actually see what you can work with. Not going to the other side of the fence. Okay. Just follow after. Hide. And yeah. For, for a place that has the alarm going, this patrol is rather calm. Okay, out and move. Okay, not going that way. Take 
Teilt euch auf. Durchsucht das Dorf und den Wald. Findet und erschießt die Flüchtigen. Es darf niemand entkommen. Zu Befehl. Soldaten, mitkommen. Okay, that's why they've already gotten out. So the patrols are more going to keep everyone else in. Someone must have escaped. Tread lightly. Okay. Just gotta head through here. Now, we did a showcase of this game a while back, so we have we do know a bit about this game. Container looting, ta -da -da. select the item, click it and drag or double click it, or just click take all. Yep, a knife and some food. Okay. Uh, press I to uh, for inventory. Equip your knife in the upper left, or in the upper weapon. Okay, there and there. Presumably he also used the knife to cut his hands free. <laughs> Not that he actively tells it or such. Okay. Mm. It's possible just a bit tricky to do. Yeah. Stealth takedowns allow you to, uh, yeah, to quickly kill your targets. However, your prey will resist for a short while, producing noise that could be heard by other enemies. Prey? <laughs> uh, interesting word of choice. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you can see the, the bar go up there. You can hide enemy corpses using environmental objects to keep them from being found. So, we take this one out. Pick them up. Yep, pick them up. Yep, need to click the hands. And then we can dump their ass in the bush here. Where they will Are not be found. Unhoused? Quick save. Okay, yep. There's a, there's a cabinet and an outhouse that we can hide in. So, let's see. We don't have to deal with fog of war, luckily enough. So it would be interesting to have a, a real-time tactics game with fog of war. Enemies can't see you while you are moving through bushes. Sneak into the next yard using bushes. Enemies can't see your corpse in the bushes until they walk into it. Use this to avoid being caught. Yep. So they are a good place for hiding stuff, but not perfect. I would say a game like this with Fog of War would probably be more a good fantasy game or some sort of horror game. Where you have a mystical fog doing that. Mm. I meant more that we can we can look around everywhere, even outside of our characters' uh, range of vi vision and such. I... Ah. So we could. You could probably do it with two layers of Fog of War, like one where some area is completely unknown, so it is darkened out on the on what we see, and a secondary where we know well that we know the general area, but we can't see if there's any enemies and such. Okay, yeah. now I get ya. Moving through Still bushes creates like noise. Yeah, it could definitely be done with a, a fantasy style as well. Uh, can cause nearby enemies to become suspicious. If, you plan, if your plan was to remain undetected, wait for their suspicion level to decrease before carrying on. Commandant's going to skin them alive. What are you so happy about, knuckleheads? We don't get away either. The fugitive will hide in the woods and become partisans. Characters can jump over low fences, take shortcuts. So let's do that. Okay, just shut up and keep your eyes peeled. Okay. We're not near enemies, so we walk at normal speeds. Your eyes peeled and completely unaware that you just got snuck by. Yep. Your character gained a new level and a skill point. You can spend it in your skill tree, press I and select skills. To learn higher you know, level skills, you need to learn three skills from the previous tier. <clears throat> you can see the number of skills needed to the right of your skill. Oh, not three. Okay. Looks like I'm back with my recon some some materials there skills let's see we have knife throwing partisan throws a knife and someone close an enemy his thrown knife can be picked up and used again we we really abuse the hell out of this in commandos 2 though it's more noisy in this game uh it seems that we already have this one uh, increased chance to hit using pistols, constitution, lowest the cinema cost of running while in combat. 
Increased chance what? of hit using rifles. Melee one. Wait, 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 wait. Can we use axes? Looks like, or pro uh, probable. Allows you to kill low rank uh, enemies faster when in stealth. Wind chance during melee fighting is increased. I'm presuming that higher ranked enemies have a. Well, they have a chance of being able to get out of, of the kill or so. And cover knowledge. I think we'll actually... Actually, we can. Uh, this one's all... Uh, we already have this one. That's good. It's probably to ensure that, well, we don't accidentally get caught trying to, well, kill the earlier enemy. Let's get knife throwing then. One more skill to the second tier. Okay. And we now yeah. have that as an active ability. I realize we, 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 we talk about the, in the last time it's the did showcase on this that throwing a knife and instead kill someone is not as easy as it looks. Like, if you go for the head, yes. But if you go for the back, there's a bigger chance that they actually feel it and scream. Yeah, so it's it's going to be pretty noisy all the same, and even then you have to, well, get lucky enough for the, the blade to hit and not the hilt. Yeah, what the heck, I can imagine just... Yeah, and Blood Heavy actually mentioned that last time. Uh, enemies traveling alone can be easily neutralized or distracted. It's much harder if you meet a group of enemies. Try not to let them see you. God, oh, so I can imagine the down, reaction. Yeah? Getting hit by the hilt of a, a knife oh, and go... Who the heck threw that? <laughs> Who throws a knife like that? <laughs> uh. I overlooked this guy. Let's see, they'll cut our salaries if we fail something. Okay. Uh, ability distance. Some of your partisan's abilities can be used at a distance. The ability icon shows the exact location where the ability will be used. Okay. Now, let's wait for this guy to turn around. Actually, let's move over here. I could have probably snuck into the bushes there, but he, the thing with these kinds of games is that enemies will turn around at the exact worst moment, typically. Or is he not going to turn at all? I okay, wonder. Quick save. Would throwing a, a dagger while a train passed by a good uh, sound cover? Probably. Yep. I called it, didn't I? The moment, the moment that it's worst for you, they turn around. It happened last time as well. The last time he didn't get a, just to say a word. Yeah. Okay. So I guess you were more sloppy this time. Careful now. Okay, we can go into the woods here. I'm on it. Bullseye. There we go. I'll take that. And you can, well, take a nap in the woods. Okay. And then we continue on to the next one of these. Okay. One thing I'm a bit 50-50 on at the moment is the, uh, the sound waves. Because typically, games would show you exactly how what to what range you could be heard but this one isn't doing that so far it it shows when you are making more noise but not to how far that can be heard kind of yeah no prisoners let's see Unusual containers. You can find containers in unexpected forms and in unexpected places. For example, collect the contents of the nearby stone pile. Yeah. Wait, well, it's a stone pile. We're just going to find some rocks. Stone throwing is a very simple and effective way to draw enemy attention. Yet yeah, to the point that it's become an absolute cliche. But yeah, it does still work. So we will equip the stones <laughs> as an item. And there we go. There, it does kind of make sense. For hearing that sound, would make you easily look that direction where you are on the watch. 
Yep. It's just a human instinct as well. Hey, come on. Get up. We've almost reached the forest. Oh, I can't. The wound is too much. Leave me, Sanek. Run. Run for your life before they see you with me. What do you mean, run? Are you out of your mind? You don't leave comrades behind. I can carry you. Stand down. I'll carry him. Captain, you're alive. I, I thought the fascists got to you. I'm fine, but it looks like you took a bullet. We'll find a safe place and dress your wounds. Pops has a dugout in the forest. The Germans won't find us there. How far out is it? We won't be able to carry him through the woodland and swamps. I didn't think of that. We can take him to Mikhailovo. To Uncle Vasya. He won't betray you. All right. Take us there. And there we go. <laughs> Mission success. And we got some resources out of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is one of the things that I think will make this game more inter uh, more interesting in some ways than Commandos 2. And that is a bit of a mix with XCOM. The medicine hasn't kicked in yet, but he's going to be all right. You have no idea. You're not dead yet. Unfortunately, you're also in 1941, so it's not going to be a fun time if you come out of this alive. He's an athlete. <laughs> a student at the University of Health and Sport in Leningrad. We'll spend the night here and leave in the morning. Sanek mentioned a dugout in the forest. It must be Trophim's. He's a hunter? Yeah, I... Yikes! Look! The Palenzai. They're looking for us. What are we going to do? You and the sergeant stay inside. I'll go and say hi. Hold on. There's a stash under that floorboard. Take the meds and the gun. You'd make a great conspirator. Wait here. Okay, now we're going to get into gun the gunplay. By the way, I need to confess something. I actually misheard them when they said the boy's name. Did you hear Sonic? Yes. Probably <laughs> too. Some people have been calling Sonic Sonic as a joke for some reason, and now I guess I don't know why. <laughs> Let's see. You can restore your HP with medicine by placing the, your med kits in the item slots. To fire your weapon, you need to equip it and have ammunition. Press R to reload your weapon. Bullets are stored in your character's backpack. Painkillers can help your characters heal from injuries while ignoring the pain. Okay, yeah. Uh -huh. Research management is going to be a big thing of this game, I presume. The enemy is near. Okay. Very likely. Let's equip that. We have a good amount of we have a good a good amount of ammunition for that. Sword button. We have no in we have no injuries. We have normal morale. Okay. Uh, let's see. Zoran Alexei Jurevic, age twenty nine, born in Ver Verkiv. I'm going to be butchering Russian names a lot as we play this game. Uh, Verkovino, a village in the Kat uh, Kalilinan uh, region to a farmer's family, career officer, participated in the soviet Finnish war. By the outbreak of the Great Patriotic War, reached the rank of captain. The company he commanded was transported to the front lines in the early days of the war, skilled knife fire. Okay, nationality, origin, rank, date of birth even, okay. Nice little details. Okay, why don't we knock on his door, see if the old, how the old man is doing. He might you know, treat us to something. You know, we'll, we're, we'll give you a treat to something instead. Some hot lead. Hiding cover. When you're in cover, you're much less likely to be hit. Yep. Okay. And then let's just swap to the other weapon. And open fire. There we go. What's the noise? Where's the commander? Outside, talking to the police. You're going to have to leave. The area is a swamp, and it's been raining hard. 
If you're going to get to the forest, the causeway is your only chance. The causeway is just outside the village. Take the backyards, but don't get spotted. Sonic will show you the rest of the way. And what about you? Aren't you coming with us? I'll only slow you down. Go. I'll see you when things settle. Thanks a ton, Uncle Vasya. We can't fight without firing a shot. Let's take some weapons from the fascists. I hope the voice acting isn't too soft. It's not too bad. Look, look if we have text. Yeah. Let's see. I'll, let me take a look if I can up it a bit. Sounds. Yeah. I'm really agree for the text is rather small. Let's just pop everything to max and we'll lower right, as needed. Volume. Hmm? That's a voice volume, you're so You only need to raise the voice volume. Yeah, but still, we'll see if what might get too loud, what might not. So that, that, that's a lot more obvious with hearing the sounds of the environment now. <clears throat> Loot spreading. You have limited space in your inventory. To make room, select an item with your mouse, then drag and drop it to another partisan's portrait to give it to them. Well, you can lift, you know, press right mouse button to select handover. Okay, simple enough. Let's see, you could we'll use some medkits. So, yep. okay. Nice that it does keep in mind to keep close together. Uh, let's see. You have a rifle with that ammo, Let's 30 rounds. It. You have the shotgun. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, Nikolai Alexandrovich uh, Petisov, uh, worker, Russian sergeant major. Petisov, uh, age 24, born in Leningrad into a worker's family. Uh, Deacon, uh, Deacon, Deacon, no, it, it's, it's the uh, multi, uh, multi uh, purpose. Um, in, in Dutch, it's called De Decathlon, Decathlon. Uh, student of Les Kingagov University of Sport and Health, joined the army on the Com uh, Komsomol draft call in the first week of war. Uh, he was a sergeant in Captain Zorn's company and the kids. Uh, Kuzmin Alexander Ivankovic, age 14, local, before the war, studied at school, member of the Pioneer Organization, lost both parents to the fascists. He lives in the forest with Tro Trofim and dreams about avenging his family. Yeah. The no rank. Okay. Yeah. Let's heal you up. Play for service. Okay, that doesn't actually heal that much, which is realistic. But that also means that we have to be very careful with injuries. You know what they say, don't get shot at. But then again, if this runs on the RNG system, you're fucked. <laughs> yeah, I saw the percentage. Uh, please don't tell me we may deal with something like XCOM percentage. I doubt it will be that bad, but it mostly it's, it's mostly going to be get close enough in stealth and then blast them. Who are these Polizei, Sonic? They speak Russian and they look pretty local. I can't believe that our people could sell out to the enemy. They're no longer our people. Traitors! That's what those Polizei are. Serving the Commandant for money. Some are worse than the Germans. What kind of person would turn to the fascists and bully their own people? Well, there's a couple of them over there. Let's ask them. Again, our talking will be done by the barrels of our guns. Yeah, you'll always find people like that in any conflict, basically. Different weapons are effective at different ranges. To reach maximum efficiency, you may need to get closer to your enemy and use cover to decrease the chance of being hit during combat. So basically, never get caught outside of cover, or you'll be a Swiss cheese. Looting the corpses to find some equipment after killing them. Okay. This is kind of scary. The kid can go there. The captain can go there as well. And our only rifleman can go here. 
Okay. And everyone starts shooting in me um, of their own accords. Okay. Yeah, and also something. The percentage of Amy went up. Now what? Yep. I think with some cases it's because they can get a moment to find their aim. Okay. That's the first time I've ever seen that ha uh, be a thing in a game. Two seconds. Uh, One. One. Two. Two. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. A visitor, I'm guessing. Possibly, and DB seriously do that in Sink Hill. <laughs> About? But what's with us going more and more in Sink? Okay, there's a kid here. Okay, nothing to talk about. Let's see. We've got four here. Okay, that gives a moment to hide behind that. Let's see. You have a task for me. Yes, I do. I'll Just get over the fence here and get behind these. If this guy is be going to get really unfortunate with the shotgun. Calm down. Okay. Oh, oh, hold on a sec. Oh, 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 oh. Group combat. Controlling a group can be a challenge. Use hideouts to increase your character's chance of survival. Tactical mode slows time and allows you to coordinate everything your characters do. To activate and deactivate uh, tactical modes, press the space bar. To get more information on your weapon's chance, hit hover your cursor over the target. The higher the chance to hit, the more fun. <laughs> the more filled in the uh, t target's marker will be. Okay, so also just a visual representative. Covers, if you're not in combat, you can hide in cover and enemies will not be able to see you. Use this to set up an ambush. Okay. Our one rifleman. Get over here for the moment. There, cover also blocks line of sight, though no one is actively facing this one at the moment. Okay. Let me turn this around a bit, get a better look. And yeah, you're going to join a. <laughs> you're going to join your sergeant major. And it will take me a bit to get used to their names because, well, I'm not too used to speaking Russian style names and such. Uh, you mean Slavic? Yeah. Like Zorin and Sanic are clear ones. Uh, Vostovez, or... Let me double check. Yeah, Vetisov. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll just call you Betty. Wait, wait, wait. Look again. Hmm? That was his or... first name is Nikolai. Okay, that can also work. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, and some experience. Speaking of, we should give everyone their skill points. Let's see. Increased chance of to hit using pistols. Yeah, we saw that. Hmm. Increased character defense bonus while in cover. I think for the moment we'll focus on being somewhat stealthy with Zorin. And, okay, for a moment I thought that meant he could dual wield, but that would be dumb. Since, well, that, that costs you a lot of accuracy and such. So yeah, just faster reload. What is this? Inspiration. Okay, allows you to inspire your partisans, increasing their hit chance, fire rate, and stamina. That would be really good. Ooh. And what have we here? In increased carry body strength. Let's go with... Hmm... Let's go with Pistolier for the moment, since we don't have any rifles for him yet. And you, Grenadier, increase throwing range, decrease the time before explosion. So he cooks it for a bit, so it says. Increase chance to hit using SMGs. 
Long bursts, very soft shoots. Uh, everyone in range with of the ability cone requires an SMG. Uh, more cover in, well, more <laughs> more defense in cover, and increased chance to skill in melee. I think for now, let's give you the SMG. Probably would be better if we want, went for this and handed the rifle over to him. But I think having our most hurt units or our most hurt partisan be at the background for a bit would be best. Um, let's also give you... Now let's not, not give you that one yet. Ah, seems that preferred weapon is an SMG, if I understand these uh, things are right over here. Yeah. Now we could also go with heavy weapons. Okay, and stationary weapons. Now that could be some fun in the right position. Okay, and the kid has silent move. Partisan makes less uh, noise when moving. First aid. Increase amount of HP recovering while using med kits. That would definitely be useful as well. Disguise allows you to move near an enemy without drawing enemy attention. The ability stops when you do anything suspicious, such as using weapons or abilities. A cooldown of 10 seconds, unavailable during combat. Shotguns, <laughs> increased chance. High fence climbing. Yeah, Senek is definitely going to be our sneaky uh, guy, huh? Uh, I want you to look at this guy's video again. Mm -hmm. uh, that bit. Yep. Yeah, look, the to take a look, good look. The, the totally not suspicious walk. Da, 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 da. Oh, Definitely that's... not plotting to murder all of you. Because that's a classic here. I don't think it's... You... I would not be surprised if it's still used in cartoons and such. Let's grab that. And let's see. Slingshot allows you to stun enemies of low rank, aka Polizei. Uh, stun enemies of higher rank, wear marked soldiers. And, oh, this can be upgraded into distraction. Okay. Uh, chance to hit being decreased while sprinting. Grenadier. Shotguns more. Lowers the stamina cost of running while in combat. Okay, so that's going, stamina is going to be a thing. Hmm. And I think I'll take this for the moment. Okay, now let's loot. My palms are sweaty. Mom's spaghetti. I think I actually made that same joke during the showcase. You didn't get this far in the showcase. No, we, we we got further than this in the showcase. We got to the next level. Him, I, think. I watched the showcase. We for, didn't get oh, this far. Wait, but, I remember, I, I played a bit more of it, just to get a feel Come for on. the game. Okay, yeah, so I actually rewatched the showcase for Double Check to see how we fixed the problems we had back then. And I watched yeah. it all the way through it, just to yeah. make sure. <laughs> my bad on that. It uh, goes to show that my memory is pretty crap. Okay. Yeah, it reminds me. That's Do you me. remember to put on pants today? Maybe. <laughs> Okay, more that we can take. Do you remember you the hot move? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yep. You have a task for me. Okay. You hug them both? Hmm? Yeah, they both don't you know, still don't like getting picked up, but that's just something that's never going to really change. Now what's this here? They still like being picked, yeah. I hope. Yeah. Oh, that's good enough. Let's see. Base resources. During missions, you can find gray-colored items. These items will be converted into resources after you exit the mission. <clears throat> you can spend your resources at the partisan base. All oh, right. Uh -huh. More food. Hmm. I'm going to take this here. You don't like being picked up either, do you? Nope. <laughs> well, I don't know why. people don't. Uh, let's see. Some people don't mind being picked up. Depending on context and why. And, uh. uh where they go they were going all the way around, huh? And, okay, and it looks like there is soft fog of war after all, since we can't see what's going on around here. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, attack from an ambush. Use ambush tactics to destroy patrolling enemies. Take cover to gain an advantage. There's a suitable place in front of you now. You can change behavior mode during combat. If defensive mode is turned on, partisans won't shoot until an order is given. During defensive mode, partisans' chance you know, to uh, be hit is decreased. You can activate this mode by pressing the T button. Okay. Uh, everyone into here. There's another patrol. We'll have to fight our way through. Okay, good spots here, here, and here. Get down. And we could actually even get around them and basically pin them in. Hmm. So there isn't really much cover on this side. Yeah. What do I do? Rob. Welcome back. Mm. Let's wait for them to return and yeah, welcome back. He jumped scared me. Calm down. So I, I like that they actively crouch down once they get near. Okay, now that their back is turned. Go. You missed and hit the other one you were not aiming for. <laughs> On the outside, yeah, well. he got everyone. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of scary. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go refill my drink. Yeah, okay. Rum? Hmm? Yeah. Make sure he'll don't die, okay? Okay, we don't okay. want to take that because yeah, that will be stealing and decrease squad morale. I want to be useful. Okay, more than we can't take. Fascists. That's me. Okay. Yes, steal from the dead. You're not gonna need their stuff. I wanna be True, useful. but th these farms belong to people. Grenades. Well, but this had to be said about grenades. <laughs> they deal a big area of effect damage. Okay. Those have nothing. Okay. All of you into the brush. Okay, yeah, that's a bunch of them. Calm down. Okay, who has the grenades? You have the grenades, singular. Okay. We can take cover there. And we can take cover there. Okay. You have a task for me. Well, first, I want you to reload. Actually, no, that's a single shot. The, you know, a shotgun. Hide and seek is for children. Uh, it may be for children, but it keeps your ass alive. Calm down. Okay. All right, we probably could have used the corners for cover as well at the earlier ambush, but oh well. It's been too I long like since it. I did the save. Did he just say hide and shake his push? He has never been in trench warfare, has he? <laughs> nope. Okay, quickly. I need to hide. There we go. If anything, the first and second world war was a lot of hiding behind trenches and bunkers and whatnot. Frag out. George, another one down. Come on down. The battle is over. There we go. You just threw a grenade. Yep. Oh, and most of them ran so from it, which is smart. I... I just bit off uh, the twig on my peel like a grenade as you <laughs> threw that. <laughs> and that's why I asked your friends, did I just do exit status of a civilian here? Yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh -huh. And no, I did not throw the peer. Or so you claim. Yes. No, no, I'm still holding it. I'm even waving it at you for some reason. <laughs> okay. I want to move up. Let's see. Some folks up there. It's probably going to be something over here. 
All right, I remember what happened there. Okay. Uh -huh. Zorin, open that up. These will probably be stuff that we can't take. Wait. That tractor has track uh wheels? Yes. Yep. This is my final... I wonder what also be good for construction and military, not... Uh -huh. Farms. Or is this... Uh, yeah, there's some farms here. To not to down ones that they will require that thing. We have someone over there. Okay. Two police over here. Do they go to the car salaries if we fill to find the prisoners? So a boy near the camp. Seems like Santa got spotted. Okay, do they move far enough apart for me to sneak in? Yes, they do. So switch your weapons. There we go. And this guy doesn't seem to turn around, which is his problem. And okay, we we make no we make more noise when carrying a body. Also makes sense. I'm on it. One. There we go. Yeah, we should try. We should probably try to save ammo as much as possible. My faithful slave. Okay. Nothing in there. Okay, let's go have a chat. Let's... What has got into people's heads, son? Not only are the Polypsi on the rampage, but they're also bullying people to join them. And right by the church, too. Oh, is nothing sacred to these people? Yeah, to plenty of people, the only thing that is of any Stay value alert. is power. And they'll try and take it by whatever means they can. Mm -hmm. No matter who and what, what they need to step over. Yeah. Okay, looks like we're the only two who managed to escape. Okay, we don't want to use grenades here for very obvious reasonings. Let's see, 1,000 rubles to whoever helps arrest the fugitives. This guy is in a blind spot for a bit. Okay. Does that spot get seen at any point? If not, then we could throw we can knife him while he's over there. Hopefully. Okay. Nikolai and Senek get somewhat in position and okay, he would see it by going he would see him while he's over there. Actually, because you just remember something from very far back. Who? From some documentary. I'm not sure how true it is, but apparently, a certain someone in this era wanted to reintroduce slavery. Yeah, of course. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Huh? But not only, specifically the style that the Spartans used. I did a step wrong. So, yeah, Ugh. and I guess in this uh, polizzi or whatever they call it, cover now. Probably don't know where they might have a volunteer for that. Calm down. Okay. We're not getting caught here. When he gets back over here, Sonic uh, Sonic is going to blast him. And the rest are going to focus on these two and whoever had whoever <laughs> the last one in here is for whoever can take him out. Mm. Okay. Probably best to do that first, yeah. <laughs> Don't think we wanted him charging out with a knife. Okay, probably some ammo wasted there, but better to waste ammo than to get injured. 
Plus, we can find plenty from their corpses. Wait, hold on. Is that the church? Yep. Yeah. Okay. What? Okay. It, it's not bad looking, just. I was always expected the search would be a bit more. Grand. It is just yeah. a village church, after all. True. You have a task for me. I'm still eating right now, so I don't think I'm going to be able to hmm? stay right now. Oh. Okay. Right. Was was nice having you here, anyways. Okay. See you guys in a bit later. Yeah. See, See you a bit. Ooh, big <laughs> big health kits. Okay. Have fun, everybody. To take risks. <laughs> Ooh, real. No, when, when is it ever not fun shooting fascists? That's true. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see. No skill points for you. But we can go here. You have a task for me. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's go with this one for you. And then next time we can work on your distraction skills. And let's actually get you. Hmm. Let's go for the long burst. We can see if we can turn someone into a grenadier at some point or another. Okay. Into the bushes. That's a feeling you really like to use the term grenadier. Well, the entire job that they have is to just chuck around explosive potatoes, so why would I not like it? Explosive uh potatoes? -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that mental image. That uh, they're minor free time in front and throw a hot potato between each other. <laughs> well, there were those explosive potatoes in Giant Sins Kabuto, after all. And potatoes are, or were, used in training for grenadiers, I believe. I did not know that, and I forgot about the Giant Sins Kabuto part that I used potatoes there. Let's see. M to open a tactical map, see your current task, as well as the exit. Okay. And yeah, the only exit we have now is to GTFO. Oh, gosh. Now you're, now you're giving me weird ideas. Hmm? Like, you know when people try to pull electricity from potatoes? Yeah. Imagine if people take it further to make them into grenades. <laughs> They were just unsure if trying try to make an electric grenade with use of a potato would be effective. They've seen us. Calm down. Hmm. Let's actually sneak you a little bit closer. No other way. So, I feel like you only get enough power to light, light a small kind of sheep lamp. Yeah. Or, or whatever you call it. The tiny one. A bulb would be the word, yeah. Okay, let's yeah. see if he comes any closer. And then we have, yeah, Sanic going for this one, Zorin for rest. this one, and Nikolai for this one. Okay. There we go. Okay. We've got some minor injuries going. Xana got the, at least one hit at one point. But overall, doing fine. Okay, 20 minutes, all killed. And a lot of resources found. Well done. Pops is away hunting. He'll be back in a few days. <laughs> this isn't a hunter's shelter. It's a partisan headquarters. Cool, eh? Built especially for our battalion. Pretty much everything we need. And in a nice location. Let's take a look. Okay, and here comes what I presume to be a bit more of the XCOM uh, lean heading in. Oh, hello there. I see you've arrived safely. I was afraid you'll get caught by the Germans along the way. We don't give up easily. They can never take us alive. 
What's new in the village? Nothing good. First came the Polizei. They combed the houses and took away everything of value. The Commandant with a squad finished what the Polizei started and wiped out the village. Have you decided your next missions? Are you staying here, or will you cross the front lines? How far are the front lines? <laughs> People say the Germans are already moving in on Leningrad. That's nonsense. I bet that's just a rumor spread by the Germans. Yeah, the Red Army never retreats. Shush. We'll take some time to settle and send out a scout. Let's find out what's cooking around here and go from there. Ah, now you're talking, comrade captain. In the meantime, I'll set up a workshop. We need somewhere to make us makeshift grenades and bandages. In the, the whole thing that the Russian army during this time was doing was retreating, but mostly. Okay. Let's see then. Reports. Partisan's camp. This is your partisan camp management screen. The tabs on the right allow you to assign tasks to members of your units. Okay. All tasks. We have propaganda, gathering, medicinal tent, fish pots, weapons workshop, workshop, and just a bunch of things that we can do at the moment. Okay. And, uh, let's see. This will <coughs> increase squad morale and give experience. This will give foods. This will take 20 materials, I'm presuming. That will take 50. Okay. Now then. You wanted to set up a space for, well, materials, but we can't do that at the moment. So, you... Uh, uh, oh, we need to click it first, okay. The partisans can be assigned various tasks around the camp. For example, to build a medical tent, you'd need to assign a partisan to construct it. And yeah, that'll take that. Uh, let's see, a captain can do that. Injuries can be treated here. Let's put you to work on that. And you probably know the place better, so you can go scavenge some stuff, so we actually have things to eat. Because I'm presuming the more people we have, the more food we'll need. So we'll need, definitely need to have a good supply on that. So yeah, you get to work. Uh, what, what? Workshop and workshop. And they, he wanted a workshop specifically, I think. Can we see how to unlock them? Mm, no, but it'll probably be in a bit. So for now, next day, in order for the partisans to carry out their assigned tasks, you need to click next day. Yep. And off they go. Uh, on them? <laughs> What? Hello. Captain said you were an athlete, Collier. Which sport? Multi-sport competitions. Competitions? Do you have medals? A couple. I was last year's gold champion of the local workers' Olympics. I've been dreaming of winning the USSR championship. But we'll have to win this war first. Yeah, there'll have to be a USSR first. When every year. Okay, reports. Gathering done, medical tent done, fish spot done. Nope, news from the front lines. Let's see, mushrooms are in season. We could find some uh, chanterelles in the fir grove. We got, we got 22 foods. Let's see. It's mushroom, Cillian. Yeah, no. Uh, a tragedy on the front lines. Kiev, the, front, the capital of Soviet Ukraine, is captured by the fascists. Okay. Construction tasks. Now we can go for the workshop. Okay, we need 150 supplies for that, though, which we don't have. Basic explosive and field meds. Okay. Operations. Here we can actually, well, go do stuff. We have an ambush and a raid. The commandant was has increased patrolling. We should reduce the numbers. We could set up an ambush and eliminate several police eye. Let's see. This will get us experience, shotgun shells, and grenades. Okay, and we'll take 25 materials. Okay, 70% chance, 90% chance, 100% chance of success. Okay, and that's all we have. And let's see, what have we here? Uh, just a menu. 
Yep. Okay. And that's that. Operation with success, we took the enemy by surprise. Okay. I saw a tank delivered to the repair yard at the crossroad. I thought you might find it interesting. Ah. Must be one of the vehicles that the fascists couldn't repair and had to leave behind on the battlefield. Well. Now they want to fix it and send it back into battle. We must blow it up while it's still here. Agreed. Let's see whether we're any good as saboteurs. <laughs> we can gear up today and head for the repair shop tomorrow. Yeah, the saboteur, another game we streamed. And yeah, now we have an objective other than, well, surviving and managing. Let's see, households. Uh, that's operations, construction. Yeah, we're going to need quite a bit of materials for this. So. Yeah, he sounded like we were able to do it right away. And we also have propaganda. Yeah, that's for raising morale. We are at decent morale at the moment. I'm guessing we'll have. Uh, we'll get bonuses if we get it higher. Let's see. Uh, not even going to try. Uh, it says that the Germans are appointing village heads and recruiting reliable people into the police eye. For many, this work is just an excuse to steal from others. Yeah. Okay. Uh, living under occupation. Former Nikofor packed a couple of you know, pigs and left for his cabin to hide from the Germans. Uh, he got stuck in a swamp on the way there. We should help him for food and experience. 600. Propaganda. We should distribute some leaflets in the neighboring village. We must be careful not to get caught, though. And yes, increased squad morale. And then there's gathering. Okay, let's actually go do this. Hmm. Hold on a sec. Living under occupation. Okay, that has a 100% chance anyways. Okay, so then we... Okay, it doesn't depend on specific characters. Let's take a tiny bit of a risk there and send the kids in to hunt down some pigs. Uh, he had a 100% success chance. Yeah, but that was at the base already. It was 100% even without anyone equipped. And yeah, mission day. Okay, now we have high morale. Okay. Are you ready for Tisov? Here's our mission. Infiltrate the repair yard, blow up the tank. Take me with you. I know how to hide, and I know how to shoot. <laughs> how old are you? Fourteen? You're too young for that stuff. Too young, eh? Who helped you out of the camp? Who took you to the outpost? I've got a score to settle with the fascists. Comrade Commander, please, let me join you. You've proved capable. You may join us, but you must obey orders. Got it? Yes, Commander. Thank you, Commander. I won't let you down. Yeah, the fact that we have what's basically a child soldier makes things uh, a bit iffy. But let's be honest, if we didn't take him in, he'd just go on a rogue... Uh, on a, he'd just go out on his own to... well try and kill fascists and get himself killed that way. At least this way we can control his vengeance, steer it in a more productive way. Still not a good thing, though. Yeah. We replace the propagandist leaflets with our own. The town folks now know that the partisans are close by. But so do they. And let's see. There's nothing he could uh, do uh, but share some food. Okay, so guess the guess that some of the pigs had to get slaughtered on the spots. Okay, first reconnaissance. Vasily Gravlovik reports that a damaged tank was delivered to the repair shop at the crossroads. This is a good opportunity to take a field trip and destroy the armed vehicle, the armored vehicle, before it's repaired and sent back to battle. And yeah, everyone is going. You can't send them everything. <laughs> we can't send them to do anything else. So. 
Here we go. And the other ones are loaded up, by the way. Is, no. or, uh, okay, we need to move. We need to end the uh, mid level or end the day. Let me just for extra certainty. There. Just have a full solid save. And yeah, partners will begin a mission. Yeah. Okay. Now, I like how quickly all of this loads. Out of commission. Destroy the tank. Additional information. Many base resources. A hidden cache. Okay. Now let's take a look at everyone's equipment. Uh, we have some grenade, but some shotgun shells that we can send to you. Some ammo that you cannot use, but the others can. So let's redistribute that. More ammo for you. Okay. Uh, let's not give you a knife to play with. And, okay, you just have a hell of a lot of shells that didn't get stacked on their own. We can make you a bit of a medic as well, since you have a skill that lets you heal more, I think. It said somewhere here, or was that someone else? Uh, right, that's you here. Uh, let's see. Do we go for a distraction? Or for healing? I th distraction could, of course, be really powerful, as we saw in Commandos 2 with uh, a certain spy. So, let's get that. Okay. Uh, is there a sword button? Yes, there is. Okay. Now, Petrosov, you, you keep your knife. Annoying. Let's give you another one of those. Put those away and give you just a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of these. I don't think uh, we'll run short with these at any moment. Yeah, just two full clips should be plenty for the moment. Uh, let's sort that a bit. You need those bullets. You do not need those or those. Okay. A slight annoyance that it does... Oh, wait. Those those are a different kind of bullets. So that's why they weren't stacked. Okay. Med kits from you as well. And another of those. That, that's different kinds. A uh, single bullet we can leave that behind. Okay. Uh, big med kits. Hmm. Yeah, you're going to become a bit of our medic, kid. Maybe it will help you become a doctor later in life. Of course, we'll first have to survive to get you to, uh, to that point. Okay, increased distance and uh, increased distance and decreased cooldown. Strength, melee, increased backpack, more accuracy. Okay, I think I think for now we'll keep Zorin as our stealth guy. So that allows you to kill Wehrmacht soldiers and policemen faster while in stealth. Wind chance again is strongly increased. Okay. I get the feeling we're at one point going to get really unpleasantly surprised by that wind chance. Okay, and we don't have a tactical map or encyclopedia because we haven't been able to do any scouting, I presume. Okay. okay. One last look. Mm. Just for absolute fallbacks, give the kid a knife. And Zorin, get a grenade. Okay, and what are these? Yep, whatever it is, we'll bring it along. Oh, pineapple! <laughs> Love. The target of our first sabotage mission is the enemy tank. It's outside the repair shop. The area is well guarded. We can't enter through the gates. The yard's too open. We'll be sitting ducks there. We can slip through the breach in the far side of the wall. There's another breach near the storage tanks. Fewer guards, but further distance to cover. Okay, multiple options. And Ooh, immediately oh. we find some more stones. Uh -huh. <laughs> Take those. Okay. The enemy is near. Oh. 
good tactic with this sort of thing is to always circle around your main objective first, just to clear out any stragglers and weak points. Okay. And yeah, these guys are plenty spread out, so we should be able to pick a few of them off. You are constantly walk lo looking that way. You are looking that way, but probably... Yeah, you are switching that way. Okay. We're going to avoid gunfights. Because, well, that could... So far, the game has been lenient with gunfire and such. Okay, so you do move around. Okay, yeah. just to be absolutely certain that no one starts shooting. Yeah, for... You might not know these people, but... Guns are loud. Yeah. Actually, something I just... We can... Zorin can throw knives. So, why not give him multiple knives to just start throwing like he's at the freaking circus? Okay. He goes inside. Did they someone say they were all out of wild tobacco? Uh, see, so can increase taxes even more. Where are all the pretty gals? Far away from you. Well, that didn't go as planned. I'm not surprised. Okay, kid. Okay, that is stamina, the blue bar as he runs. Okay. Okay, at least we get to see now how things go when, well, they go wrong. Okay, and you are still hurt. Run over there. And there. Okay. That could have gone a lot better, but it also could have gone a lot worse. I think at best, Sonic gets got hurt there, and a lot of ammo got wasted. But at least, well... It didn't alert the entire place here. Yeah, and this is one of the moments where you look at like movies where they use crossbows in one of the settings. And then look at this and go, yeah, crossbow does make sense for a stealth mission. Yeah. Huh? Take all of that. Oh, mines. Area damage, but it's difficult to place them effectively. Yep, because you need to lure people over them. Okay. So I like that the civilians just immediately run for cover the moment that shit goes down. Quest yeah. items. So yeah, so I don't remember <laughs> games similar to this, or some odd games in this style. Um, actually, just old games in general and all that, where you're supposed to stealth for the kill and all that, but if you accidentally stop the civilians, they just run around like headless chickens. Yeah. And risk getting shot in a crossfire. Yeah. Some items you find during your missions are necessary to complete anything you are assigned tasks. They are marked with an exclamation point in the lower left corner of the quest uh, of the item icon. Okay. What exactly was that then that we picked up? Uh -huh. okay. Some more foods. Oh, hello. Okay, so we can get some more information. Explosive. Yeah, we're going to need that to deal with the tank. It's not like we can. T <laughs> it's not like we can take Party a tin service. opener to it or can open to it. We want to look at the tank. The place is chock full of fascists. Spare me. It's not about the weapons. It's about skill. <laughs> Young people these days. Listen, there's a stash near the swamp, past the fence. I keep my submachine gun there. Picked it up on the battlefield, but I never had the courage to use it. I reckon you're gonna need it. Okay, Petisov will, uh, will like that a lot. Okay, yeah. where exactly is that stash then? Can we use a dog or something? I don't think so. 
Let's see. Okay, we don't get it highlighted where that stash is. Yeah, no. Okay. Right, right. Now I can go and grab my blanket and not st uh -huh. stop standing up. <laughs> Careful now. Let's see. Special control areas. You will encounter special areas where enemies are able to notice Senek when he uses his disguise ability. Try to move Senek out of these areas as quickly as possible. Okay, they don't. They don't show you where those areas' those borders are, though. So you need to keep a, a good eye on things. There you go. I got my blanket. Uh, yes, I want to speak. Oh, and talk to you for a moment. For I was playing. Okay, I got good. We'll grab the blanket, and something kept happening. So you, yeah, he didn't make me stand for a while there. Ooh, hello. Allows you to ignore effects from light injuries till the end of the mission. Okay, so we're going to have to deal with injuries sooner or later. In the middle of fights as well. Hmm. That's the aunt and uncle leaving, if that was audible. He was not. But my burp was more than people. Mm -hmm. Pardon. Wait, I pardon? Is that a correct way to say it? <laughs> okay. Let's sneak around through the forest here. Quiet. Yep. Okay, one thing this tripped me up the first time I played this game is that this guy in here will swap between windows. So that, that got me caught at one point, and while well, the entire horn's nest came rushing out. The enemy is near. Okay. So we just gotta move carefully. This is kind of scary. Okay. I hope I won't get caught. There we go. It's your silly little walk. <laughs> He's even freaking whistling. Okay. Hmm. Actually, would we be, would we be able to just have you? Okay. I'm presuming that the red means difficult to pull off. And let's see. Yeah, you don't get skills for melee combat, so he would be able to uh, to perform stealth kills like that, but it would be really, really hard for him, and he'd likely just get caught. Yeah. It's like playing hide and seek. Okay, so for the moment, best we can probably do with him is to, well, Go as a scout. Okay. Calm down. Mm -hmm. I'll tread softly. Just one passing through. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. I'm. Uh, I. I didn't do any quick saves during this place, did I? Nope. All the way back there. <laughs> okay. Let's. Did it autosave? Yes, it did. Again, showing the quick save button is your friend in this type of game, huh? Let's see. Yeah. Oh. To see the rank, hold Alt and or hover your mouse pointer over the enemy. Okay. The target of our first sabotage mission is the. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so basically, commander. after every single Tread move, lightly. I should try out the, uh, I should hit the quick save button. Yeah, we can do, try to do this properly. Any more of you are there? Okay, quickly grab him. Yeah, yeah, it'll probably be better if louder to use the knife for kills at the moment. Okay, get the knife. Noise. It's a single bullet out of you. Okay, and yeah, let's actually see. Everyone, hand over your knives, and Zori is going to go juggling and going for the throat for jugglers. Let's see. Hi, Morel. 
Very high morale, hit chance is increased, characters can sprint longer, ability cooldowns are decreased by 1.5. Okay, yeah, we have really good reason to keep that high. Okay, also, you two reload. Okay. Time to act. So, F5. Get down. Okay. I'd be curious how a game like this would be done set in the uh, set on the other side it's of the front. Down. Okay, pull down, so uh, we can't abuse it as much. Which side of the are you talking about? Yeah, uh, the western front. It's so like with the French Revolution and such. All right. Wait, we we all play that. Uh, I don't think Commander Stewart fully count as that, because that's a specialized military force and such. Hmm, point taken. There was the saboteur, but I meant more in a real-time tactic style. Hmm, all right, yeah, point taken. Point taken. He's going down. One down. Quickly. Okay, stupid idea. That that circle that come uh, that comes out after they drop, uh, I'd suggest that that's them farting out their what remains of their soul. Yep, a bit too, put them a bit too close to each other. Okay, we can't run whilst carrying. Let's dump you in there. <laughs> Should have seen that coming. Uh -huh. Okay, what is it with these idiots only having like a single bullet between all of them? Uh, ah, okay. For, I was going to say, wasn't there a fourth? And there he pops up. Okay. Hey, somebody saw her. I'm listening. Mm, sa yep, nope. Petisov got a level. So let's put that into SMG again, even though we don't have one yet. Uh huh. Okay. Get down. Okay. Wait. Uh, are we making roll over him? Yep. Sneak over closer. And with some luck, we might be able to get uh, a two for one bonus. Oh, you end up making it look like he triggered the accident. <laughs> Splat. Did you see what you just said? Uh, no. We have a plan. I wish I could feel a woman's touch right now, and you <laughs> then dropped a truck on him. Well, some people do refer to cars as female. So B Big Bertha was just moving in to oh, oblige him. That's us. <laughs> oh, good God, the timing. Uh. Okay. Mm. Right, let's do some quick looting. I think we can leave most of the bodies out in the open. Because without an alert, there isn't really a reason for them to be go moving over here. Watch them send out a patrol at any point, find them here and go absolutely apeshit. But yeah, that's part of the learning, uh, the learning curve with this game. You'll have, we'll have to figure th how, th we'll have to figure out how things work. A hint. Um. Ah, no. Uh, that's, that's a lot of hints. Now these have been the, the tutorial so far, but what is that? What was that partisan's hint or something? So let me just click all of these so they won't show up. Yeah, and aesthetics that will suppress debuffs from being hurt. Actually, we, we should check on Fetisov there if he is getting any debuffs from Hello Health. Let's click all of these off. Oh, hello. Oh, there we go. 
Okay. Pratva 172. Citizens of the Soviet Union, the Soviet government and its head, Comrade Stalin, have authorized me to make the following statement. Today at 4 o'clock a.m., without any claims having been presented to the Soviet Union, without a declaration of law, or war, the declaration of law, what? <clears throat> Uh, German troops attacked our country, attacked our borders at many points and bombed from their airplanes our cities Zitomir, Kiev, Sevastopol, Kaunas, and some others, killing and wounding over 200 uh, persons. There were also enemy air raids and artillery shelling from Romanian and Finnish territory. Now that the attack on the Soviet Union has already been committed, the Soviet government has ordered our troops to repulse the predatory assaults and to drive German troops from the territory of our country. This war has been forced upon us, not by the German people, not by the German workers, peasants and intellectuals, who are suffering as we well understand. Yep. I'm pretty sure Stalin was pretty well known for purging the Soviet Union of intellectuals, so no he does not. Uh, but by the by, by the clique of uh, bloodthirsty fascist rulers of Germans and the, who have enslaved Frenchmen, Czechs, Poles, Serbians, Norwegians, Belgians, Danes, Dutchmen, Greeks, and people from other nations. Ours is a righteous cause, the enemy shall be defeated, so victory will be ours. Okay, I can't tell if this might have been taken from a, an actual newspaper of the time, but for, Probably. <laughs> for them not to actually go for, for full demonization right away, that's... <laughs> that is oddly, uh, yep, yeah, that actually has me think that this probably isn't from an actual uh, newspaper of the time, because, yeah, demonization of the opposite people, from the highest top to the lowest low, was basically common strategy during the time, and, well, still is. Yeah. The crew at Master, and Partisan's Companion number three. Okay, so it's a it's a leaflet. Remember this when fighting a tank. The turret is capable of horizontal rotation. The barrel inside the turret can only be moved vertically. Uh, try to disable both the turret rotation and the cannon. This will deny the enemy the ability to shoot accurately. The tank engine is cooled by air coming inside through special apertures. All hatches, joints, and couplings are also sources of potential openings. You can set the tank on fire by pouring flammable liquid in uh, through those openings. Tank crews use observation slots and vision equipment. Cover them with mud and disable them uh, using small arms fire. All good points. Yeah, do, us, do, do remember... Some of those uh, things we may read uh, might have been taken for paper to be, you know, propaganda. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. I think for the moment... Wait. Hold on a sec. Does... Is it showing the restricted areas? Or... Oh, no, no, that's a, that's a harmful area being shown there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, for... I thought for a moment it was actually showing where you can and can't go. Yeah, I've already said this before. The Every is... side used propaganda. Yeah, and still does to these days. It's just that people have a lot easier of a time of both spreading and debunking it. Uh, hmm. Oh dear. Let's loot that. I hope okay, you. Get caught. I hope I won't get caught. Put on your best uh, Oliver Twist impression and go sneak in. An uh, Oliver Twist, really? <laughs> Are you? Will that just stand out more with someone pretending to be a British orphan? Maybe, but Bashes <laughs> have never been too known for actual intelligence. Just like I said earlier, the dictatorial types, be them communist or rather Stalinist. And fascists have, an, have a habit of just getting rid of anyone who uh, is considered any sort of threat. Intellectual, physical, basically anything. Wait, can we... Okay, yeah, we, we can dump bodies in hidey holes, huh? Okay, <laughs> you get in there. Kid has the right makings for a serial killer in the late oh. stages of his life. Okay, but we can only almost hide one in there. Him? They almost what? spotted you through the window. 
Okay, at least it takes a moment for them to spot, but I'm pretty sure those are those are probably Wehrmacht soldiers. So they'll ha probably also spot us faster. Wait, so, what yeah. do you call them? Wehrmacht. W A no W E H R M A C H T. Basically, yeah, German what army. Do do? Oh, I thought you called them Wehrmacht. <laughs> I can do it. Oh, mm. what are you, what are you trying to insult Get them? <laughs> By calling them bears? With a bear muck. Yes. So, um... Oh, but hang mm. on. What do I do? You take all Mark of those. Muck is just mud, ain't it? Or... Muck is basically... Muck. Uh, force. No, no, muck. M-U-C-K. Uh, yeah, that, that's that's basically a word, just a, a different word for dirt or mud. Yeah. Now you see what I meant. Uh, why I thought you were Trend insulting them by calling them bare mud, basically. <laughs> Which would be a very odd insult. I'll tread softly. Let's see. Let's do a bit of scouting here. The tank is over there, we know that. It's not going to cover, that would just be suspicious. We've got a locked door. Judging from the symbol. Gesundheit. Thank you. Okay, just grab whatever we want. Bottles, if you place a bottle on the ground, the enemy will come to check its contents. <laughs> so yeah, we can use the very same tricks as what in <laughs> Commandos. I'm a little bit surprised you were so inspired by it. I'll try to Probably. Oh dear. And that looks to be the stash. Though we need to go all the way around for it. Okay. Great. Great mentality, huh, dudes? Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, he was talking about whether she wants it or not, she will be mine. Yeah. Ugh. The enemy is near. Mm. Yeah, you know what? I think we will do a good, the word of failure, but getting rid of that one. Definitely. And a bunch more of these, hopefully, as well. For now, we'll need to be a bit careful. I don't know how these two will respond. Like, if they will move, if we try to distract one of them, Come if they on. both you move away. Or, or not. I doubt he's just being a lazy asshole over there. I thought I'd switch it to go over there. Now, Maxenic is not going to be able to do that too well, otherwise, he'd be overpowered. Or unbalanced at the, at the best, at the least. We can probably take this guy out to remove him as a potential problem. Do you have a task for me? Yes, dig that up. Okay. Now just come all the way back over. My recon experience comes in handy. Okay. Character is busy. Okay, so we can't quick save in the middle of action. Or, oh, or while they are doing something like this. Okay. So, okay, there so we, they, okay. they have done something to make sure you don't abuse the quick save too much. Yeah. Calm down. Okay. I actually like that. But either that, or they, it was a solution for something that could probably happen. Like a severe bug or glitch or crash. Hmm. Okay, if we were to throw, throw a knife at this guy, the other one would definitely hear that. So we're leaving these two alone for, like, a last pair. Hey, I'm scared. <laughs> Side. 
take quickly, loot him. A cigarettes. Okay. Just toss your ass in there. Okay, we can still collect the knife. That is nice. Very nice. Okay. Then we just wait for them to pass. Okay. Just gotta be smart about how we do this. And that's one last asshole in the world. Mm -hmm. I still have that one up there by the rock that is removing. Mm -hmm. I'll try to soften. Calm down. Oh. And he's no longer by the rock there. Risky move. Chew on that spine. Okay. Quickly grab you. Okay. Who? Yeah. <laughs> is that too stupid to actually keep an eye on our flanks? Yes. Can you... Right, come on. Get the knife. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I need to mo aim down. Another big med kit and some ammo. Hmm? Okay. I can you. Go work on your acting lessons. I hope they won't notice us. Let's see. Okay, the, the chevrons are what's showing <clears throat> rank and such. And I'm going to presume that more means higher. So, what is this one? Is this one just a worker? Okay. Hmm. Yes. You two, move this way. And here we have to go in the bushes again. I think that one will make an easy pick for first first victim, since no one is actively looking in that direction. Okay, that one might. Yeah, no, that's a civilian. They won't give a damn, anyways. Okay, he moves. Gotta keep that in mind. Uh, the partisans were the nine of something. Okay. And yeah, this one moves as well. But not too many moving... Uh, <clears throat> not too many moving components to this place. Or ones that are an active threat at least. So, oh, right. Hmm? You pull back. Actually, go hide in there. Okay, that'll keep you safe and give us line of sight. Are you sure? It doesn't exactly look bulletproof. <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay, so we can save me? even... Oh, it's because it's still active in there. But he's already hidden. Okay. That'll, that'll, that's a good thing to know, that we can just pop in and out of those to unhide for quick saves when we do risky moves. When you say that, I somehow expect you to say risky boots. See? I'm on it. One down. It's like playing hide and seek. Yeah, hide and seek with knives and bullets. Okay. Now we might ha we might want to skill someone up a bit so that they are good at moving bodies around. We'll make it easier to stay stealthy. Okay, now give me that back. Yep, his faithful blade, he says, that he carries around <laughs> three of them. Okay. I wonder, how do they, he know the blade is faithful? Because it keeps returning to his hands. Who <laughs> it is after he stabs someone with them, but still. Okay, this might be a small problem. He he can't he can't disguise while inside of these. But as long as no one has line of sight, I can do it. He can just pop out and go back into it. it that, okay, that's a kind of weird. For all he does is just adjust his hat. And his stance and hide his weapon and such. I'll tread softly. 
Okay then. This one and that one will be our next targets, I'd say. Fairly self can join along as backup in case things go to shit. Uh, let's we'll see who. Let's go to the bathroom. <laughs> Uh, let's see, was it you who was carrying the weapon, or the bottles, or was... I want to be useful. No, you found those, okay, so you need to come over for a sec. Let's not... Let's not cross the uh, active work area. Because they would probably be rather pissy if we got too close. No, we know they will be... Yeah. We know they will start questioning his quote-unquote disguise. Or why a kid is nearby a tank? Okay. Bottles Easy. to you. I hope they're reusable. Mm. Nope. Yep. Oh, okay, he places them. Okay, that adds a bit extra risk to things. It does make sense for, let's be honest, have you thrown within his eye of sight? He was yeah. seeing you. The robot was thrown in front and of him. That, that, yeah, that, and it would also shatter on impact. <laughs> yeah, okay. it, it might survive it, but still. I want to be useful. It makes sense to just go out while they are not looking, placed out, then hope they see it. Let's see. Okay. Oh, that's the that's the that's the ammo type we left behind. Okay. I'm so, yeah, not we... surprised. Uh, there those are bullets we need. The ammo for it. Yeah, these are pistol well, ammo. That's rifle well, ammo. I... Another rifle. More pistol. Well, uh, maybe I mix them up a bit. Yeah, they do look similar. Hmm. Actually, if I oh, we don't have enough space to put the pistol. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, now I see. Yep. Too far away. We'll have to re we'll have to redistribute materials a bit. And, yeah, inventory space is something we'll have to keep in mind for, well, what re resources we can bring back and which not and such. Yep. Uh, mm. Oh, I just looked at the time. Okay. Uh, I think we should still be able to finish this mission. We can go yeah. loud after a certain point. Like after we take this one and our roaming one out, we have like three left or so. Oh, you made uh, the actually there's more here. Yep. Oh, what's that? Calm down. I'm on kind of yep. sport. Yep. Why did he? Why did he walk that way? There was a straight line to the to the bottle. Quiet. But did you... uh, okay. Okay. And yeah, that is why we quick save. I thought it, 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 you, you just made. I thought you just failed and restart. Uh, had to restart from the beginning. <laughs> no. And but even if we were to get spotted, it wouldn't be a loss right away. He's going down. Like, why? Why? Why take a route like that? Anyways. Maybe he was suspicious the that he might be a trap. Or the mm. disguise within the trees were not good. Yeah, I'm thinking it might be a little pathfinding thing. It's mine. <clears throat> okay. Now collect that again. And we'll have ourselves another victim. Yep. Game got okay, that was the game getting unselected, I think. Take that. Place one here. And that should hopefully be oh. enough to lure this one out. Because he's line he's in line of sight of Okay, he's not interested. Okay. Then Wait. Easy now. Why is it only putting one bottle down? Okay. Well, We'll try to get him on the next cycle then. Uh, 
I think he was talking about some about the partisans having a price on their head or something there. Yeah, as long as this one is alive, we can't stealthily kill this one. No, 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 no. Back into cover, you idiots. There, just <laughs> go play knifey spoony. Okay. Knifey spo are you talking about a spork? No. <laughs> it's a crocodile dundee reference. And here Wait, we it's into the bushes again. I've not seen those movie in Oh bloody heck. Yeah, I wish I've even I've ever I'm seen them fully. How many more of you are there? Okay. Quiet. Uh, okay, we lost a bottle there. My faithful slave. But... He ate the bottle? Yep, he drank it real fast. <laughs> then ate the glass? Well, he's hungry. <laughs> okay. Continue on this way. Quiet. Now, we know this time that one jackass does that. Yep, what the heck? Sanic, what the heck were you Please thinking stand. going there? Yeah, I was to say, I feel like that per error should probably have a god there all the time. I'm on it. Uh, so well, done for. Is that them opening the war? <laughs> what? War never changes, kill 100 enemies. Thanks for holding me. <laughs> there will probably be many more to follow. Okay, now this guy is easy pickings. As long as nobody is around. Okay. I'll tread softly. Okay. Nobody has line of sight into there. You haven't moved at all, so we need to keep an eye on where you're looking. Okay. I hope they won't notice us. You don't move far enough to, for us to get note or yeah, to become a problem. Okay. Hmm. hmm. What if we pop you into cover? Okay. Let's hide you over here for the moment. You could be at risk, but at least we can quick save. And okay, I was just about to move in to attack this guy. And he is just inside there. Okay. Always good to check line of sights, huh? Yeah. Yeah, Sanic is hidden there. Hmm. Are both of them hostile in there? No, yellow is civilian. Yeah, a high price on their heads or something like that. The text doesn't show up long enough for me to get a full read. Just need to wait for him to get distracted. Hmm. Come on. Yeah, th this is a thing that we'll have to deal with. With uh, this game a lot, I presume. That just need to wait for the right window. I'm on it. To put a knife between someone's ribs. Easy now. No, 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 no. What? In between the eyebrows. Okay, I think this will be our next... Either one of those two can be our next target. It's be a little more risky with where we leave the bodies, since we're thinning the place out. Yeah, one, two, three, four. And then there's this guy in here. And then we'll have well, most of this place cleared out, I think. Yes. Okay. Also, we made progress, so we do a save. Now. Staying alert. Move in. The enemy's near. Okay, you go that way, you 
I forget where it's way you went. You don't see far enough to where this one stops. Oh, but you do turn away to there, making yourself vulnerable. Calm down. Okay. Yeah, this one hasn't moved at all. I'm on it. Okay. okay. Just hide him in here. Okay, you are a very easy target over there. Then we can grab them, and then this one lasts. Okay, get the knife. Thanks for holding this for me. Knock knock. He's going down. <laughs> He's gonna raise the alarm. Who? Who? What? Oh, he might. Okay, he must have caught sight of us at the very edge there. So let's quickly hide this guy in a corner. Because I'm pretty sure they'll get alerted by someone, quote-unquote, sleeping on the job a lot sooner than anything else. Oh yeah, they, they just caught sight of us at the edge there. Okay. Now. Let's see for good hiding spots. Bear will do. There's still that patrol over this way that I'll need to keep an eye on. But beyond that, this guy is wide open for a knifing once he gets back there. And hopefully this... I'm, I'm guessing as long as, as long as they aren't seen from the sides, that cover will hide them like this. I'm back and her diving. Welcome back. Thank you. Okay. I, I had my spots wrong of where he was going. But he's out of line of sight anyways. What the heck? Why are you going that way? Chew on that slide. Okay. The, ooh, quickly. Okay, we got a bit lucky there. No, let's hide you in here. Yeah, yeah. Games that let you stealth like this basically boil down to becoming a, uh -huh. a sort of puzzle. Thanks Get for the knife. Okay. Quiet. Also, I would say strategy. Like, knowing when to do it and not to do it and all that. Yeah. Okay. You dudes, go take down. a break. Down. That's all you have to say Calm to down. seeing someone get knifed? Okay. My faithful slade. Now this one. I'm on it. One. There we go. And in his last moments, he gets to see who killed him. Okay. Get this off. Come in. Help carry all of this stuff. Sonic. Yeah. Take all. Actually, what? Oh, wait, did we? Okay, that, that's something I noticed. When there's bodies somewhat near near each other. Uh, they will actually loot them at the same time. Right, calm down. Get the knife back. Me. Okay. What do I do? Now, what indeed Run. do we do? Uh, you for have one, a task for me. we empty this out. Have just some bullets. Okay. And this is us placing the explosive. I'm guessing. Nope. Uh, calm down. GTFO. GTFO. Yeah, we just missed that. Oh well. <laughs> okay. I want to be um, we got a key. Oh. Did those run off to the explosion sites? Nope. Oh, there they are. It's like playing they did see. not notice. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing all of. The, I'm guessing being hard of hearing is a requirement. <laughs> Hmm. 
We could actually do. We could actually just ambush these two and get a little bit of. Uh, all right. You have that. Nope. Nope. Ah, screw it. You have a we can't loot. No, I can't, but I just misclicked. The enemy is near. I'm ready. Okay. Ready to ambush. Okay. Surprise! <laughs> Glad it wasn't me. <laughs> well, it became you. Okay. Now, we can loot these. Some more bullets. Something behind the door. Uh, uh, some food. Okay. And... I think that's every enemy taken out. Was there a loot enemy? Let's see. Yeah, there's nothing to loot from them. Okay. Alright. I saw hand symbols, but alright. Yeah, hand is pick up. Bag is loot. Oh. Oh, speaking of loot, we forgot to pick up some stones here. Hmm? They are just stones, but... Better to have plenty than to have too few for distraction. Indeed. <laughs> okay. And how did that go? All of them killed? Oh, blow up the, sky, the tank during the first mission. You're gonna go far, kid, huh? Okay. Mosquito bite. Okay. Wow, that was loud. But I still don't get it. Why did we have to blow up the tank? The fascists have thousands of them. One tank is nothing. Why didn't we blow up the bridge or something? Don't get ahead of yourself. Do you even know how a bridge structure works? One tank might be nothing, but that explosion is going to save a few dozen comrades' lives on the battlefield. Fortresses rise from a single rock, Sanek. Live and learn. We'll see about bridges later. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Why aren't the town folk putting up a fight? But there's more of them than the Fritz. If everyone kills just one, there'll be no fascists left. Yeah, that's about right. But the enemy is well organized and far more savage than us. People think the enemy's too strong. That is one illusion we're going to shatter. Yeah. Plus, well, one for one is going to leave you with a whole lot less villagers all the same. Okay. That we can call it there. So let's, let's save the game. Yeah. <laughs> really? Okay. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah. So far, so good, I'd say. I think yeah. we'll probably be busy with this game for quite some time. We'll, m we'll probably have to move around when we can play it and such, with me starting work, you know, trail, trial, a trial period with work next week. So, yeah, at least two days are going to be well, less likely for streaming, depending on things. But we'll have to see when and how late I have to work and such. So for now, let's go look for someone to raid. So remove always on top, change the screen share, come on, there, to Twitch, and let's see, we raided Hisaya was here earlier, so they're off the list, and okay, there's a good few more you know, people, a good, a good bunch more people online right now, so let me narrow this down, uh, let's see, we have Lashris playing Klonoa, door to Phantom Isle, Oh, I heard yeah. of that one. Uh, um, um, Torpid Typist, who is playing Persona 5 Royal, but I want I want to, at one point, get to stream that game. So I want to avoid as many spoilers as possible. There is Himasama uh, Shiro, who is playing Persona 3 Reloads, which came out yesterday or so, I think, very recently. 
And let's see, a third one. We have... Uh, I'm not seeing too many that are of too much interest here for me at the moment, so... Uh, Lash. He may, hmm? Okay, Lash is <laughs> right then, okay. Uh, yep, mute it. Okay. Copy. Get to our place. Slash raid and paste. I probably should not have closed off the game. At least we'd have a bit of music in the background then, but oh well. And yeah. But before we start the raid, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. <clears throat> uh, no active chats, no lurkers at the moment, or at least no lurkers with an account, because those won't show up. And so, yeah, thank you as always, Rick here and Ram for the quick visit. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for watching here on Twitch or on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Maybe, maybe multiplayer tomorrow. Actually, that, that I should probably name that. <laughs> I should probably rename the event to that. Maybe, uh, maybe multiplayer. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, maybe, we, maybe the group quest. Uh, yeah, but. Um, uh, with Borderlands, we found, or we believe to have found, what was causing issues, or what was causing issues just passed by, because during the last test we did with Liz and Ram, things worked out well. So, yeah, we could you know, maybe Borderlands stream tomorrow, or maybe something else, but most likely Borderlands, if there's going to be a stream, that is. Yeah, uh, it, was, it was FPS related, wasn't it? Uh, there were there were two things that we uh, did a fix on. One was a potential memory leak, and I'm forgetting the other one that was resolution based, I think. But yeah, either way, things are running a lot more smoothly. <clears throat> That's just good. So yeah, uh, maybe something um, on Monday, but on Tuesday we'll get started with the first Star Wars game we'll be streaming. Dark Forces. <laughs> this is an old one. Yep. It does work, but it, uh, it it didn't take a lot for me to work because a bunch of fans have made a version that actually works these days called the Force Engine. So, yeah. Hallelujah. For now, though, let's get that raid started. And thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. Sleep well and watch out for undead seagulls. Especially Russian seagulls. <laughs> <laughs>